What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Latin Nation. I found some fans of Latin Nation. What's up, man? What's up, man? I got Richard here from Los Angeles. Now, do you like the show? Yes, definitely. A am I doing a good job? Yes. Am I fun and informative? Definitely. What a liar. All right, man, we also, <laughs> we also got him as a Dodger fan. Now, up next, I have an interview with Luis Cruz. What do you think about Luis Cruz? Definitely, he's a strong hitter. Um, he's battling some injuries throughout yeah. right now, but uh, he's going to come back and uh, be strong throughout the year. It's all about coming back strong from your injuries, right? Yes, definitely. It's a lesson for life, all right? And now we're going to go to our interview with Luis Cruz or En Acción. Check it out. En Acción, brought to you by the U.S. Army. There's strong, then there's Army strong. Welcome back to Latin Nation. I am here with one of my favorite Dodgers players, Luis Cruz. Now, a lot of people always think of Latino baseball players as like Caribbean baseball players. Guanos, like my family, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. What about the Mexican baseball player? It, doesn't seem, it seems like the Mexican baseball player isn't getting enough respect, right? Tell me about the Mexican baseball player. We have a league in Mexico mm -hmm. during the summer, and then most of the guys, they just like to stay there because they, they don't want to, you know, mm -hmm. try something different. That's why we, we only have like seven or eight guys in the big league. Now, you got a lot of Mexican fans here in Los Angeles, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the best place for a Mexican guy to play baseball. I grew up in Sonora. It's a really small town. You know Fernando Valenzuela? Of course! Maybe 35 minutes from where he was he from. He did everything. I mean, he rookie of the year, uh, Cy Young World Series in one year. I think he's, he's amazing. I think he's a, a good role model for all the Mexican players. Louie. He's been working very, very hard to, to find his stroke. Um, you know, hitting is all about feeling, and you got to feel it. And you feel it in the cage. You can try to bring it out into into the game. Surprises of the year. If your timing is right, you're gonna see the ball is like slow, and you're gonna see the spin if it's a breaking ball. And uh, I think you just have to concentrate. Like we've been doing this for so long that mm -hmm. you don't even realize that they throw in 100 miles per hour. When we step on the box, we just it's only the pitcher and me. Because if you put attention to how many people is here or who's yelling or, or whatever, you're gonna get lost or nervous. If you always dream to play in the big leagues, you gotta leave everything in the back and, and come here and work hard and try to make it to the big leagues or any dreams you got. All right, now listen, last thing, you gotta judge my stance. So right here, that's how I'm holding it, not back here. What do you think? No, you gotta go like in the middle and soft. Right there. With a little rhythm right Like here. this, with a little rhythm. And then foot up. Foot up. So when you land, this is gonna go. Down. Yeah. Not a golf swing, because no. I always confuse the. It's like a U. Like a U. <laughs> like. I'm gonna practice. Not good, but uh, <laughs> can do better. He's so honest, I could do better, I could do better. <laughs> One day I'm gonna be as good as you, but I don't think I'm ever gonna make the Dodgers like you did, man. Listen, thanks a lot for hanging out with gracias, us, man. Gracias. Good luck this year. Another breakout season, some all-star games. What do you say in your future? And gracias. you've been watching the Dodgers and me on Latin Nation. Hasta luego. Gracias.